Well, speaking of changes and making resolutions, it's not too late to set your intentions and pursue the dreams you want to achieve. So maybe a little push in the right direction and some tools to set those goals in motion could help. Our next guest is a mom, entrepreneur, and motivational coach. Justine McDonald is here to share how she pushes herself and others with Team Goal Chasers. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much. So tell us about how you help people, moms in particular, reach their goals. Yeah, as a mom and an entrepreneur, I found it the most difficult to kind of marry those two roles. And having goals as a foundation really helps people to not only look forward to the next step in their life, but to create a plan. So I teach my clients through courses and through coaching um, and through my new goal planner to take a big vision for their life and how to break it down into small, tiny daily tasks that don't overwhelm, that give a small win and keep them motivated to continue to show up for their goals. Talk a little bit more about the importance of having and setting goals. Yeah, so one of the reasons that I started Goal Chasers was I didn't want to look back on my life and say, you know, what happened to that time? You know, when you're busy with your kids, life goes by so quickly. And I didn't want it to go by without setting daily intention. So creating that roadmap for your life and showing up for your goals every single day allows you to look back at life without regret. And I always say that goal setting is a whole life solution. Most people want to set a goal in the financial area or within their health. And then there's also self-care goals, relationship goals. But really, it's the same foundation for each, and that is setting daily intention for what it is that you want. And this helps bring more joy, more happiness, more freedom, and it helps build that legacy that you want life without looking back on your life and wondering, oh my gosh, like 10 years literally just blew by. What happened to, especially that mom, like what happened to that person that I was before kids? So it helps set that daily intention to, to create the life that you really want. Okay, Justine, so we're like a week into the new year, but it's not too late to start now, maybe make a goal and, and do this for the rest of the year. So what are some tips that you can offer so that people can set reachable goals this new year? Yeah, so one of the big reasons that people don't achieve their goals is they get overwhelmed, right? Like they're like, I, I want to lose 20 pounds next month, or I want to pay off my house this year. And when you create a really large goal without small wins, it, you get demotivated, you get overwhelmed, and then you shut down. So the best thing that you can do for yourself is create a maximum of three goals this year. Make sure that they're, ta they're tangible outcomes so that you can look back and actually see that you have made progress and you can feel that fulfillment and confidence. And you want to make build in small wins. So break that goal down as, as small as you possibly can. So if you have a health Goal, you know, what are you going to do? Maybe 10 minutes a day, right? Something really, really small so that at the end of the day, you can cross that off your list. You can feel that sense of accomplishment and that will fuel your motivation to do it again the next day. I like that idea going small because I'm doing that with myself as far as exercising. I'm like, I can do 10 minutes a day. That's totally doable. You can find 10 mm -hmm. minutes. So hopefully I can stay on top of that. But how do you suggest people stay on top of their goals and make it last throughout the year? Yeah, so I created a product called the Mama's Got Goals Planner. Again, when I was a new entrepreneur and a new mom, I felt very overwhelmed with the idea of marrying those two roles and doing them both really well. So I planner that I feel is a, a low ticket, easy to use coaching program. So not everybody can afford online courses or um, a business coach, but I wanted a resource where people could go in. It's a step-by-step -step system. It tells them exactly how to get from A to B, and it's a beautiful act of self-care. So I'll show you guys what it looks like here. Very so, nice. Very well, nice. So I made it a, a vegan leather cover, and it has rose gold embossed foil, and it's all full color on the inside. And I really wanted, I really wanted moms to feel like if nothing else, at the end of each day, they could take that 10 minutes of self-care and it would feel like a really luxurious experience for them. 
So I built this with the intention of helping an old version of myself, the one that felt really overwhelmed and like I was struggling to see through the mud and create a beautiful product. Already. Well, and I think it's true, like you can have something you can look at, you know, sometimes we're so used to screens, but to have that like piece of paper or that book that you can hold and then staying organized, because that's really part of it too, right? Being organized. Yeah, and it's, it breaks it down from that big, huge vision that you have for your life down to the daily task. So it's a full 12-month day planner in the back of here. It's undated, so you can start at any time. But then in the beginning of it, I built in like the top 10 reasons why you don't accomplish your goals. So the top 10 roadblocks we come up with are, you know, financial reasons. We feel like we don't have enough time. We may feel that we're not actually capable of achieving that goal. So I give you a coaching tool in the beginning, and these are coaching tools that took me years to develop, but I knew that people needed them at a lower cost option. So they're designed to help you work through that block and work you through that tough spot so you can get back at it and you can prove to yourself how incredibly capable you are. You just show up daily, get back that life kind of throws you off the track. <laughs> no more excuses. Justine, do you have a personal New no Year's more. resolution you can share with us? You know what? My goal for this year, and it's part of the Mama's Got Goals Planner, um, I take a big word and then I break my goal down. But my word for this year is bliss and to follow all of the nudges that continue to keep me happy. And I always align my goal with a feeling. So that's my, that's my word for the year. Very nice. Bliss. I love it. Thanks so much for sharing that with us. For more on accomplishing your goals, you can go to teamgoalchasers.com.